PWR members, Al Ricky here with your Power Minute. Today's topic is quite controversial, but with the housing market on the rebound, these are becoming more and more popular. I'm referring to a pocket listing. What are pocket listings? Generally, it's when property listings aren't entered into the MLS. They are so popular now that brokers and agents have been forming private groups and clubs to market these off MLS properties. While pocket listings are allowed under MLS rules, before recommending pocket listings to your seller, make sure you're doing it legally. Here are four steps on how you can avoid a pocket listing violation. One, ensure full disclosure. Make sure your seller knows the pros and cons of not placing the listing on the MLS. Two, submit the correct form to advise the MLS that your seller wants to exclude all or part of the listing from the MLS. Three, as a listing agent, present all offers to the seller, even if the buyer's agent is not part of your brokerage or private listing club. And lastly, understand that a listing broker is not always obligated to compensate a buyer's agent on a pocket listing. To ensure compensation, the buyer's agent should obtain a buyer's representation agreement exclusive signed by the buyer and a cooperating broker compensation agreement signed by the listing broker. As a realtor, you have to consider all the MLS rules and code of ethics. Therefore, if you have any concerns about a pocket listing, PWR highly recommends you speak with your broker or your legal counsel. And that wraps up another edition of the Power Minute. And remember, if you want something you've never had, you'll have to do something you've never done. Bye for now.